Hello everyone, Simo here again with the third and last part of building the Hawker Seahawk from Stahlhardt paper models. So in this video I'm going to concentrate on the smaller details of the model such as the canopy, the undercarriage and the outer stores. But first I'm going to finish off the tail so let's start cutting out. As in my other videos I'll put the instructions in the top right hand corner I should say that I increased the original size of this model from Stahlhardt from 1 60th to 1 33rd scale using Photoshop. You can get the smaller scale from his site but not this one. This small element which I'm calling tail cone want of a better term, fits to the junction of the fin and the tailplane. It's quite bulbous and I wondered what function it had so I asked a knowledgeable friend who told me that it only housed the bracket to strengthen the fin and tailplane joint and of course it has to be aerodynamic. The only other example I could find was on a Gloucester Meteor. To form the end of the cone, I could of course just push the petals together with my fingers, but I found that using this plastic mould makes a neater job. I just put a spot of PVA in the mould and push the cone into it. By the way, if you want to get one of these for your own models, it's called a quilling mould. To make sure the tailplane remains rigid, I'm going to reinforce it with a wooden skewer.
No need to buy fancy clamps. I found that wooden clothes pegs turned back to back work very well for most jobs. The lower speed brakes are kept in the correct open position by a small triangle of card. The wheels that come with the model are a simple design which makes them look boxy, but you can see they should be balloon shaped, so I'm going to make my own out of layers of card. I'm not going into too much detail here. If you want to know a lot more about making paper wheels, then please have a look at my previous video. Searching through my blanks, I should have guessed I wouldn't have the correct sizes, so I had to cut out some more. You can either have a simplified undercarriage, which comprises of a cocktail stick sandwiched between two paper elements, or you can take your time making the sculpted version. I 
found some good examples online to help if I needed even more detail. The undercarriage doors aren't thick enough so I added some card to the layers. The nose wheel is simplified, but it is a little weak, so I coated the whole assembly in CA glue. Epoxy seems to be the answer to fixing the undercarriage to the wheel recess.
As you can see in the photograph, the undercarriage legs are canted inwards. Some little pieces on the bottom, the launch hook and some ports. I'm not sure what these are. They're not starter ports as suggested in the instructions because that's on the top. If you have the answer then well, please leave a comment. This is the exhaust for the cartridge starter. As you can see, I'm going to use a vacuum formed canopy. I'm not going through how I made it. I'm going to leave the trials and tribulations of vacuum forming for a separate video, coming soon. After I fix the canopy on, I'm going to use printed strips for the canopy frame. Parts of the inside frame can be seen through the canopy, so I colour on the reverse.
Next, I apply some double-sided sticky tape and then cut them out. The canopy sides went on well, but the front was a little misshapen, so I had to use some epoxy to fix it down. So that took a little time, but I'm really pleased how it turned out. Now Stahlhart supplied prints for all sorts of rockets and bombs, which I thought would be exciting to make. Unfortunately, I, I didn't realise until too late that the model I'd chosen, the Mark F1, only carried 100 gallon drop tanks and nothing else. Disappointing for me, but I decided to stay with reality and only put those on.
Stahlhart provide good diagrams showing where the stores should be placed. Just some final details, this diagram shows where the aerials for each variant should be placed. So the model is finished. I think the Hawker Seahawk looks like a pretty flying fish, yes? Maybe. So while I let the pictures roll, I'll give you my final thoughts. The Seahawk from Stahlhart Papercraft has been designed for less skilled modelers, but there are options to increase the complexity. And because of this, I would put it higher up in the difficulty scale. The print complexity is really good, which is why I wanted to increase its scale to 133. Most parts line up nicely, and using the excellent instructions, they can be assembled without problems. I'm not saying that everything was peachy. Uh, I had problems with the wing root around the engine exhaust and some interpretation of the instructions, but most of the time the problems, especially because of the scale increase, were of my own making. So, all in all, excellent. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and if you haven't already, I'd appreciate a like and subscribe, and of course, please leave some comments. And with that, I will see you all very soon. Bye-bye.